Hello my friend, happy to see you here on my math class today. Which one is larger? On the left hand side we have 50 to the power 50 and on the right hand side 49 to the power 51. And on the first side we cannot say easily like which one is larger on the left hand side, on the right hand side, maybe we can like simplify this on the left hand side, two same numbers we cannot express in another way, but what about our right hand side? 49, this is a really bad number, this is odd number, we cannot express this as a product, moreover this 51 we cannot express this as a product as well, both are different and so on the first side this is really hard question but I want to show you a really interesting approach to this question so for example this is one some number and this is some number right here we don't know about it about these numbers and if we divide our left number so for example we have 50 to the power 50 this left number and in our case 49 to the power 51 if we divide both numbers so this one by this one we will have like our answer so for example this number equal to for example c yeah this number equal to c and then if this c is less than 1, for example, this c is 0 0.3, or let's go with, for example, uh, is greater, is less than 1, yeah, so 1, 1 third, for example, this c equal to 1 third, then we can easily say that our denominator is greater, okay, so if, the, if we have decimal number, for example, like uh, less than 1, of course, 1 third, yeah, then we can easily say that 3 greater than 1, so our denominator will be greater, but in the same case, if our number is, is greater than 1, if this c is greater than 1, then for example we have like situation like 9 over 7, yeah? We can easily say that our 9 is greater than 7, then our numerator will be greater, okay? This is my approach to this question and I hope you understand this really important step, okay? Division by uh, division by two numbers, so this, this answer is less than 1, then our denominator is greater. Division by two numbers, if our answer is greater than one, then our numerator is greater. So this is one really important moment and I just want you to understand this really important step, maybe the main important step, the most important step in this question. Okay, and right now let's look at this expression. So we have like 50 to the power 50 divided by 49 to the power 51, yeah? So we have this division. And how can we simplify this? Okay, let's look at it. Both different bases, okay? We cannot like create a different same base right here, 50 and 49, both numbers, this is even, this is odd, we cannot express this. Yeah, but if you look a little bit about powers right here, 50 and 51, okay, this is really close powers. Because we, if we write it as 50 to the power 50 and this expression in the, in the denominator, we can write it as 49 to the power 50 plus 1, okay? If we write it as a sum, it will be really great for us. Because right now, if you know a little bit about power rules right here, if we have, for example, I write it with the red pen right here, if we have a to the power x plus y, we can write it as a to the power x times a to the power y. This is first really important rule. And for the next for the next line right here, I write the second really important rule. If we have a to the power x divided by b to the power x, we can write it as a over b divided all raised to the power x, okay? Okay, so this is two really important rules in our question. And let's go back to our expression. Let's apply this rule of this one in our denominator. So we have like 50 to the power 50th of the same numerator. And in our denominator, we'll have like 49 to the power 50, yeah? 49 to the power 50 times 49 to the first power, okay? According to this rule. And this is really important, really important step right here. Okay, the second step. So I hope you understand this step right here. The second step. If you have a division and multiplication, doesn't matter, you can group elements, yeah? You can group elements. For example, you want to group this one with this one. You can easily do this. But in our case, let's group these two elements because they, uh, these elements have the same power 50. And this is really great. Let's group it. We will have like 50 to the power 50 divided by 49 to the power 50, okay, and times 1 over 49, okay, so we just group these two elements, if we multiply it in a reverse way, we will have the same answer, yeah, so nothing changed for us, but right now let's go back to our, this rule, I write it this rule um, in a minute uh, before, I wrote this rule, so let's use this rule, different bases, same exponent, so we can write it in one, in one parenthesis, so equal to 50 to the 50 over 49, all raised to the power 50 and times 1 over 49. Of course, we need we don't need to forget about it. Okay, according to this rule, we write it in this way. Okay, right now, what we need to know about this question? So this is a constant, so we can like simplify this, but according to uh, this expression, so 50 over 59, we can write it in a different way. So we can write it as a sum. So if we divided 50 over 59, we have like 1 
plus 1 over 49 all raised to the power of 50 and times 1 over 49 okay so we hope you understand this step we just write we just divide it yeah so as a result if we if we go back to this if we add it we will have the same as right here if we divide we will have this this expression so nothing changed for us but right now I want to start with a really important moment so let's write this 50 as 49 plus 1 and in 30 seconds I will tell you why I do this so we will have like 1 plus 1 over 49 all raised to the power 49 plus 1 and times 1 over 49 okay okay equal to and take a look right now let's apply the same rule as right here so parenthesis this is our a x plus y this is 49 plus 1 so as a result we'll have like 1 plus 1 over 49 to the power 49 and we need to multiply it by this ex the same expression 1 plus 1 over 49 to the first power i just i just don't want to write it and times 1 over 49 okay and right now i'm going to tell you why i do this because if you know a little bit about limits right here if i go to this expression so if you know a little bit about limits so 1 plus 1 over n to the power n and of course limit when n approaches to infinity okay if we have this expression if you know a little bit about limits we all know that this is like the perfect limit equal to e which is approximately equal to 2.718 okay so this limit approximately equal to 2.718 if you look to our expression so we have three elements yeah so this element is completely the same as our limit okay 1 plus 1 over n to the power n 1 plus 1 over 49 to the power 49 and what it tells us take a look this expression in infinity so if n approaches to infinity give us the number that is less than 3 so 2.71 is less than 3 100 percent if you want to write it for example less than 4 but in our case this expression is less than 3 if we're talking about limit so for example in infinity this expression give us for example 2.5 2.6 and goes goes closer and closer to 2.71 but this expression is less than 3 okay less than 3 what about this expression 1 plus 1 over 49 so if let's add it and as a result we will have 50 over 49 this is our second expression in the circle yeah and third expression 1 over 49 and we just multiply these three numbers but what about the sign so for example i don't know about this sign this is less than one or greater than one so we have three numbers first number less than three this is this parenthesis second number 50 over 49 and one over 49 and what method we need to to use right here to tell us information about this expression what is this the sign less than one so less than one eh, or greater than one what about this expression what about the answer okay i'm going to show you a really interesting approach this 100 1 over 49 is less than one but in the same case let's write it as a number that is less than one over for example let's go with 12 yeah this number is less than 1 over 12 so let's change this 1 over 49 that the number less than 1 over 12 so as a result we will have like numbers that is less than 3 in the circle 50 over 49 the second number and the third number is less than 1 over 12 1 over 12 less than 1 over 12 let's look at it 3 and 12 we can easily cancel because this is in our numerator so cancel there right here 1 right here we will have 4 so as a result we still have 50 in our numerator only 50 so 50 and in our denominator we'll have 49 times 4 which is equal to 196 i guess yeah 196 this is our expression and take a look closely this expression is greater than this expression as i write right here in the same way this expression is greater than this one and this expression is greater than this one less than yeah sorry less than yeah yeah this is greater than this one and the same as this is greater than this one and step by step we go to this expression right here so this answer is greater than this answer but in the same case we can easily say that this answer is less than one so as a result as i told before our denominator will be will be greater yeah so we have like 50 to the power 50 which is our num which was our numerator and denominator 49 to the power 51 which is our denominator and as i told before if our denominator if our answer is less than one then our denominator will be greater so in our in this case we can easily say that our 49 to the power 51 is greater 
I know this is really kind of tricky approach and a lot of students solve it maybe in another way, but I want to show you this approach. Really interesting as for me and I want to share with you with this, with this approach. As you can see, power rules, we, we learn, we remember power rules, limit part right here. So I hope you understand this step. Maybe a lot of students have a question about this inequality method, but I, if you like pause the video and spend five minutes and just look at it, you will understand everything. I, I'm pretty sure about it. Thank you for your time and have a great day. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures.